So we are officially almost at surgery time. It's almost 7, 6.45 and Sierra's on her way. She just got stuck in a little bit of traffic. And my mom went and got all my prescriptions filled. So um, I got three types of um, medication for after the surgery. The first one is, what is this? Mo morphine, which is some heavy duty stuff, apparently. And then I also got an antibiotic uh, for, I guess, the incisions. And then because uh, anesthesia and then the, not Empercet, morphine also causes constipation, I got a stool softener. So just, you know, keeping it real. I have about five more hours that I can eat and drink, so I'm gonna try and drink a lot of water because I have to stop drinking at like five, at, at 12, midnight. Whew. Just waiting for Sierra now. Sierra's here. Sierra. Yeah. I'm so excited. She said she was here. I thought she said she was here. She said here, bitch. Oh, I see her. She does ballet. She has a performance coming I up. I do. I like those leggings. I, they're new. I got them on sale. From Lulu? Yeah. They have like this like kind of sheer and they have like a I shiny. really like those. Yeah. How are you? You're like a little brown bunny. Am I? Yeah. I went tanning today. Oh, we'll show them the net. Oh, I'm so excited to get mine. Oh, yeah. I got her that for her birthday. Not the fuck off. <laughs> she has a heart <laughs> bracelet. No. Fucking necklace. It's just fun. <laughs> 757 and uh she just got in well like an hour ago and she's hungry and I'm not that hungry but I can always make room for some foods in. So we're gonna go to Wow, I look down home. Welcome to Vermont. No, but like when you have your boobs out, it's like cute. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna look like soon. <laughs> We're gonna go get a poutine at our, one of our favorite poutine places uh, where we, well, where I live, Whoa. where she, well, you didn't even live in this area. Yeah, I live very far from here. But, um, yeah, so we're gonna go do that, and I don't know. Maybe uh -huh. meet up with someone special, who knows? Who knows? Where the night will take us. Who knows where the night will take us. But uh, this is the night before the big event. My dad we're is like, uh, we like 12 hours away. It's eight o'clock. Oh, what time are you geez. going into the surgery? It's like 8 a.m. the surgery. I had to be there at 6.20. But you're actually getting wheeled into the room like at 8 a.m. and that's when it starts? Kind yeah, of thing. I guess. So 12 hours from now, you'll be lying. <laughs> getting something shoved down my throat. Well, you won't be awake for that, so it's okay. Oh, I won't? No. It's like a breathing tube. I thought that they put it They're in. They're gonna be like, okay, open wide. <laughs> <They're> like, oh. <laughs> well, normally I'm awake for that kind okay. of stuff. Okay. <laughs> I literally feel like pasty. McPasterson right now. Well, I'm always darker than you. Yeah, but like not by 18 shades. Not that much darker. Oh, please. I blend into your seats. <laughs> hey guys, so it is the morning. Come here. It is the morning of surgery. It's like what, 5.45 right now? Mm -hmm. And we are ready. I'm ready for surgery. I showered with the antibacterial soap. And... See, I do want to tell them what I did last night. Oh, God. Try it. You can come in. So, hi. We were sleeping, and on three separate occasions, she wakes up. She goes, oh! and I'm like, "What? What's wrong?" And she would say something like absolutely ridiculous to me, and wake me up. And she'd go right back to sleep, and I'd be like, "But the, the but the last one, she goes, oh, Sierra." I was like, "What?" She's like, "Look." I was like, "What do you want?" She's like, "Look, the helicopter is flying." I was like, <laughs> "I remember seeing like a helicopter in my room." I was like, what are you talking about? She like, look in the corner, like, it's just flying around. I was like, is it a bug? She's like, no, it's a helicopter. <laughs> I was like, are you serious? Go back to sleep. Like, I'm not listening to it anymore. Last oh. night, I woke up at like 4 a.m. You're making moves, Bentley. Oh, Bentley's oh. a dollar. <laughs> and I was a little nervous at like 4 a.m., but then I went back to sleep. And now I'm just waiting for my mom. And then we'll leave. So we're on our way to surgery now. Sierra's in the back seat in desperate need of coffee and my mom's driving. I don't know if she doesn't want to be on camera. No. Anyways, I'm wearing a very chic outfit of the day. I'm wearing a sports bra from Victoria's Secret and uh, a Gap sweater from like when I was really fat. So it's like nice and roomy. <laughs> and then I have Juicy Couture pants on and then Uggs. So I am basically Anna Wintour style icon. And then I just have 
my Louis Vuitton Neverfull and I have my like my key pouch with my IDs and everything. I have my pills, um, a magazine, a house coat, shorts, flip flops, socks, just some things. I hope I don't have to stay in the hospital long though. But it is a nice sunny morning. Police pulling people over in their camo pants. Pink. Pink camo, camo pants. Because they're like stupid. The around. Well, it's 6.43 right now. And we're in the food area because my mom is here. I need coffee. And I just got my blood test done. Because I need to check if you're pregnant with child. And that girl was really good at her job. So it didn't really hurt. And now they're just gonna eat, and I'm gonna go check if day surgery is open, but I don't really know where to go. So we're just gonna wait, kinda, I think. I have to go to the bathroom. But um, I'm really tired. It's like 6.45 and I'm really, really tired. And this lighting is not doing anyone any favors, trust me, I know. Are you nervous? I'm a little nervous. Can you wear underwear? I know. I never go commando. Commando? <laughs> okay. Now it's like 7, no, it's like 7 what? 15. And we have to wait. The surgery is at 8. I'm just in this bed. Waiting. With Sierra. And my mom. Wow, that's good. Cool. And, yeah. I'm tired, but I'm gonna sleep with my anesthesia. 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 I'm stunned. And then when you dine, this is where we're taking you for breakfast. Oh, I couldn't eat that. <laughs> Free and easy. Yeah. I mean, are you excited? Are you nervous? Ten now minutes it's away. Very real. I'm like, like, I wish they like sedated me before I went into the <laughs> operating room. Yeah. yeah. Tell us what it's like when you come back. To I'm like getting nauseous right now. Do you need to pee? Mm -hmm. Do you want me to have a little cup for you? What if you peed your pants on the operating table? What if I shit my pants? Bye. Bye. <laughs> right? Yeah. I'll wait in the waiting room. In that one right yeah. there? Awesome. Good luck. Do you want to give her a kiss? Yeah. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. Good luck. See you after. Hi guys. So I am officially no longer part of the itty bitty titty committee. <laughs> um, I just got out of surgery. Well, I got out of surgery. What time? Ten forty-five. Ten forty-five, and it's what twelve now? It's about twelve thirty. And uh, I wheel, was wheeled back into the recovery room, and um, I was kind of nauseous. Well, I was really nauseous. Uh, so they gave me like some sort of liquid gravel or something, um, and that knocked me out. And then also something for the pain. And I'm not in that much pain right now. It's more like I feel like there's pressure. And like they're very, very tight. Um, so the doctor ended up only going with 300 cc's. I wasn't like, I told him like before my surgery, like I don't care what amount of cc's you put, you know the look I want. So he said that the 365 was just way too much on my frame. And I'd rather, I don't know, when I heard 300, I was like, whoa. But now that I'm like looking at them and like looking from like this angle, I think that it's gonna be perfect. So this is my little IV. And um, once again, like I've been checking Twitter and Instagram, so thank you all for your comments. Okay, and best wishes. And Sierra is you, my little nurse. <laughs> Are you gonna wear a naughty nurse outfit later? Do you have one for me? No. Okay, well then. <laughs> and you can wear a little French maid outfit, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> if you need anything, like I'll be able to go get her. I'll wear like I'll get you a little belt. And she's like looked at me like, can I actually get a belt? Anyways, I don't know when. Well, when do you think I'll be able to leave? Soon. I would say soon. Half hour. Yeah. Oh, and my doctor said that that 
I probably wouldn't be able to shower until Monday because of the dressing. But what did he say? Because my muscle... Well, no, he just, he, he was able to not have to wrap you and um, he gave you waterproof uh, bandages. And so my dressing is, like, I can shower, which is good. But I'm not, like, I feel pretty clean right now. I can wash your hair for you, too, if it hurts. Like, yeah. yeah, maybe that'd be good. We were thinking about that last night. But I got a tube shoved down my throat. <laughs> Is your throat like sore? Yeah. Are you like naked behind here? Oh yes. They didn't like tie you up? Nope. Take it on the table. Well, they would have just covered, uncovered her mm -hmm. to her waist. True, yeah. So, so they look like very, very high right now, but I'm not worried because that's the way that like everyone's looks pretty much. And they're gonna like settle down and I'll be massaging them and like everything. But it's so weird having boobs. I'm, I'm just, oh, it's weird. Anyways, that's what's up right now. <laughs> Go get the wheelchair. Okay. And the wheelchair. Hey guys, so we're on the drive home now. We're about probably 15, 20 minutes away. Um, I feel pretty good, so I slept. Why is your flash on? I slept pretty good. After they, when I came out of surgery, I was really nauseous, so they gave me, um, like, gravel or something, like, for nausea, like, through the IV. So, it was, I didn't get lip injections. I know my lips kind of look more plump. I didn't do a two-for-one special. I think it's because they were, like, tape, because they taped the tube in your mouth. Did they? And, like, the tape pulls your lips like this. Yeah, my throat hurts a little bit. Like, raw? Like, I'm raspy, raspy. But um, we're going home now, and my friends all want to come visit. But I want to get comfy first, maybe eat something. Um, and then, like, I'll have some visitors over. But I, my pain, like, it doesn't hurt that much. It's just, like, feeling pressure and sitting up. Like, when I'm vertically, like, sitting up, I guess the pressure, like, it's a lot more than if I'm kind of at an angle. So, I mean, but, like, at the same time, like, with a good night's sleep, like, if I wasn't tired, I feel like I could go to the mall today, <laughs> but I don't know. Anyways, my mouth is dry. They wouldn't even let me eat ice chips. I will say, like, my surgeon, Dr. Sino, he doesn't have, like, a private office, so, like, I did it in a surgery. I could have done it in a private clinic, but it's, like, extra money for nothing. Plus, like, Joan Rivers, like, did it in a private clinic, and, like, God forbid if anything went wrong, like, I'd rather be, like, in a hospital where there's doctors and everything. And it was at... Yeah. And, um, not only, like, so, the hotel, the hotel, the hospital that I went to was the Cité de Santé in Laval. And I get a lot of questions, what the hell is AE log? What does that mean? I don't know. I get a lot of questions about if I can speak French, and the simple answer is no, I can't speak French that well. Um, I'm really not good at speaking French, and I didn't think Laval was that French, but now that I think about it, I guess it is. And as an Anglophone, it's it's really frustrating because I don't understand French that well. I can't speak it. So when I have, like, nurses who are talking to me in French, I'm like, I don't understand. And they're like, oh, not even a little bit, like, in French. And then they speak perfectly in English. English to me, it's like, why, why do you want to be like that? Just annoying. <laughs> Why you gotta be like that? Yeah. Like, these white people are aggressive on. Take a little sip of your. It's dry and it's like you're putting dry. I just don't, don't let go. <laughs> Do you see in the corner? It's like. Yeah, white that. So, it's just annoying. Like, my nurse was really, really nice, but there was this one old French person, old lady, and she was just like rude like she wouldn't even give me ice chips like I was drinking ginger ale because like I was nauseous and she was like you can't have drinks here like listen bitch I just got out of surgery like I want some goddamn ice chips you crying no my throat because I shoved a tube down my throat but we're gonna be home soon and uh, oh we're gonna, my mom is gonna get me Starbucks but I'm not that hungry right now so anyways I'll keep you guys updated with how I feel but right now, I'm not wearing a bra. Um, 
so they are kind of higher right now oh um but they're gonna definitely settle down and they're very hard and tight right now but it's not gonna stay like that forever anyways i'm really happy not in that much pain um yeah so that's all i have to say right now like massages like oh and much like this <laughs> was everyone really nice in the hospital? No. <laughs> like French. They were like French. So, so tell your followers about the new Nutella thing. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh my god, they're like oh, they're Nutella good. pillows. What time is it, Nikki? I don't know. Oh, she's it's getting her camera face on. No, I was checking. It's oh, seven. I look like Hunchback of Notre Dame with all this extra <laughs> fabric. I look like I have like I'm a linebacker. It's seven. Seven oh one. Seven oh one. I have Nikki. I have Sierra. Liz okay. and Tristan over there <laughs> and uh, I, Sierra made me some ice packs because my boobs feel so tight like a twig. they don't <laughs> especially like in the middle I wonder how much I can show without sleep like, deprivation flashing. it just feels really tight beach babe 2015 just, oh! Nikki. <laughs> it just feels really really tight and uh, I have to start doing exercises because Okay, it's been eight hours since your surgery. You do not have to start doing exercises this minute. It just feels really, really tight. I can't believe you want a 365. I well, that's what I thought. But where would you put 365 cc? No, like, I don't even want to know. That would not. <laughs> that would hurt. So what so size much. is this? Like a C? 300. It's like and a like, full C. He said. Oh, he said that. He said it's a full C. Oh, um, but it that's just good. feels really, really tight. It doesn't hurt necessarily. It just feels like a lot of pressure but like certain arm movements hurt Miss a little, little more. mosquito bites hey guys so it is morning day two of recovery but i'm just gonna put this in the first vlog since i didn't finish last night but basically um sierra has been here taking care of me <laughs> like a great amazing nurse literally like helping me sit up and everything last night tristan liz brandon nikki and sierra were over and we just hung out and um talked yeah we like talked like all night like we didn't even watch anything like we just like talked yeah. and like ate some pizza but i didn't i don't really have much of an appetite um i've just been taking my morphine and my advil for like the swelling um we went to bed pretty early since we were both up really early and we were both really really tired um i don't have like sleeping pills or anything but morphine does make you a little drowsy so, like, as you can see, like, I can hold my camera out and really, like, it, just, it still doesn't hurt. It's just, like, more pressure. And last night, they just felt so tight. Like, I thought, like, my nipple was going to, like, explode. She's like, Mom, they're going to explode. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, I don't know. They just felt, like, really, really tight. So, I've just been kind of, like, touching them, like, massaging a little bit. Not massaging, but, like, pushing them together like the doctor told me to try and start doing. He said, like, if I can't start until Monday, it's okay. But, like, I've been doing it just to kind of get it started. And it's, like, two weeks. No, Monday he said he's going to start telling them oh. you how to do it. It's like two weeks for the bra, I think. I don't know. And um, I slept pretty well. I woke up a couple times, but like I went I went back to sleep. It's so weird. Every time you woke up, I was up. I was like, yeah, but it's up. always like, like that. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. And uh, it's like seven now and I feel pretty good. I just took um my first like pain Kill, killer is that what it's called yeah it's the time that seven yeah i took it at like I'm seven and i took the advil for anti-inflammatory because the last ones i took was at um at last night at like 11 so i mean we might like go out today honestly like, i can walk fine and like we can get a wheelchair and it's fine so i mean i'm kind of like don't want to just like stay in bed at least venture down yeah. So I'm going to let you guys go. I'll keep you updated. I think I'm going to do like day two and three because I don't really know how much will change. But if anything like is really crazy, I'll definitely let you guys know. Um, my throat is still a little hoarse. Um, but it's, it's pretty good. So, so far so good. I will guess I'll maybe show a little. So this is what they look like from the top right now you can't really see because of the light but um they're definitely like getting softer like they're not like as tight like they're getting softer which is good because they're rock solid i slept them warm for mean girls last night <laughs> so um yeah i look really good right now sarah's gonna have to do something about my hair later <laughs> um but that's it for now so thank you everyone for your kind words and encouragement on twitter and instagram 
I really appreciated it, and uh, I will talk to you soon.